Okay. We're here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, video, video time. Woke up this morning, had a giant headache, a giant super monster headache, probably because I drink so much Dr. Pepper. And I went uh, eight to nine or to 10, however many hours I sleep, <laughs> hours without a Dr. Pepper. Um, so, monster headache, woke up, took some uh, Excedrin. And decided that I think I'm going to play some Spongebob games today. And that is my story. Uh, I have three here. Uh, I have played a little bit of all of them. It's really quiet. This is really quiet. I may have to... It's, it's alright. If it's too quiet, I'll just turn it up and post editing and shit. So, I've been having audio issues too. Like, I can hear myself really loud. This game is not loud. Okay, anyway. Talk to Mr. Krabs. This game is called... Um, Sponger. Sponger. Oh, what is happening? It might not be my audio box that's giving me issues. It might straight up be, like, there's no, there's not even a start menu in this game. And the Comic Sans is rocking in the top left-hand corner. Is it SpongeBob? So anyway, um... Anyway, so SpongeBob Horror Games. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place this morning. So anyway, um, 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 what was I saying? Audio, audio. The audio was being fucky. My audio box sometimes, like there's so many problems with this thing. I have a Line 6 UX2 and it's so old and it's so buggy and the, the drivers are so like fucked up that it's like, oh, is that crabs? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so anyway, um, the drivers are so fucked up that sometimes like, like for a while there, if, if I'm using the box itself as like the audio output and I can hear it, it'll like just cut off. If I, I had to like find a workaround to stream because sometimes it'll just cut off and you can't hear like the, the game audio and stuff and neither will the people watching the stream. So I found a workaround for it and then it started making my mic drop in pitch. You guys heard about that. I talked about that last video. Speaking of streaming, um, twitch.com slash the laughing noivern, go over there and follow me slash subscribe to me. <laughs> I made Pokemon content over there. Actually, I found a shiny last night. A shiny Farfetch'd. Shiny Galarian Farfetch'd. Looks exactly like the regular one. Like, you guys saw the shiny reaction video on the channel. Check that out, too, by the way. And while you're at it, go to my Patreon and become a patron. <laughs> Let me just get it all out there. And whenever I get merch, buy my merch, too. So do that. Oh, so anyway, um, talk to Mr. Krabs. There's Mr. Krabs, obviously. I'm holding off because I'm trying to explain my audio shit to you. Uh, also, like, the, the way the headphone plug-in works is sometimes it'll only come out the right ear, and I feel like it kind of conflicts with this game a little bit because most of the sound is coming out the right ear. I can kind of see that on the audio mixer down there, so we're going to talk to Mr. Krabs now. E to die. I want to wear your skin. Wow, that was pretty loud. I want to wear your skin. Catch the Flavortown Express. I want to wear your skin. Oh my god. Okay, so where's the bus? I gotta catch the bus. There's a graveyard. I want to wear your skin. Oh my god. Okay. Here's the bus stop. Do I wait here? I, I want to wear your skin. I don't think so. All right, let's go. Let's just run through the woods. Hopefully something happens. It's not death. SpongeBob, where is my mommy? <laughs> SpongeBob, where is my where is me money? Where is me money? Where is he? Where'd he go? What is this? Where is me money? What is this nothingness? Oh my God! You can see it's like ah! oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. I died. Okay, so I gotta talk to Mr. Krabs. Okay, so I gotta find the Flavor Town Express somewhere in something. <laughs> like I'm just like <laughs> the grass. Like clipping through the buildings, that's great. This is this has a nice charm to it, though. Let's be honest. Um. Yes. Hi. Let me lick your eyes. Ah! You just you just say let me lick your eyes. Let me lick your eyes. Let me lick your eyes. But yeah, I, I mean, I mean, yeah. So these these reactions are genuine. Okay, let me let me start off with that. So it's funny. It's funny and it's shocking. Oh shit, there it is. Get in sponge. We're going to Flavortown. 
Where is me money? I did it. You win. Visit this website for more. <laughs> What? Okay, so is this a short game made for like a promotion of like a restaurant or something? That's great. Oh, he's still chasing me even after I beat the game. I technically won. Let me lick your eyes. Let me lick your eyes. Okay, so anyway, like I said, this is a genuine reaction. Um. Oh shit. No. Okay, I'm dead. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I've played. I've played the game before. All right, let's get out of there. I've played the game before. But it's like, the, the way it works is, I, I don't know, it's so strange that every time I play it, I'm just like, oh. Okay, so now oh, we got the Krusty Cellar. The Krusty Cellar. Hopefully this doesn't hit my PC too hard. Uh, blah, 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 not official. Options. Okay, we are in full screen, right? Yes. All right, this is the Krusty Cellar. It's by Hawk Sandwich. Uh, he's made a few games I've played on the channel. Mouse to look, wast to walk. Walk to... Go down and talk with Mr. Krabs. All right. We. What's up, dog? No. No. SpongeBob, me boy. Bad news. I hid the formula in a chocolate bar, oh and I lost it down here. Find it for me. Okay. Let's go then. Space. All right. So we gotta find a chocolate bar. Find the chocolate bar. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, is this gonna be like the chocolate dude? Chocolate. Okay, so is this just the exit? Is it the start too? Hi. Oh, they're just chilling. They're just chilling. Do you do anything? Okay. They just teleport around, I think. There's the chocolate bar. Return to Mr. Krabs. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Go, dude. Oh my goodness. What do I do? Is there another way around? Do I have to go around? Probably. Hi. This is a nightmarish cellar. There's so many clones of the chocolate ladies. Chocolate! Chocolate! <coughs> Oh god, there's a giant one. Is this where I go? I snap. I snap. I think it is. Hello. Uh, shiver me timbers. Thanks so much, boyo. I'm making you the employee of the month. You win. Oh, okay. 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 All right. That was really fucking easy. Was that the game? No, that was... <laughs> I gotta see the jump scares. I gotta see the jumps. Dude, there's no way I beat that game in like 30 seconds. There's no fucking way. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. All right, I gotta get killed by something. I feel like I didn't even like see what was exciting about the game. I found the bar because I know how to read a map and then that's it. All right, let's go run into her. Let's see what happens. Okay, never mind. Hey guys. Wait, hold up. What? What are they selling? The selling chocolates! What? What did he say? Chocolates! <coughs> <laughs> I'm a good voice actor. Hire me for voice acting prowess. I have tons of it. I want to see what this jump scare is. Ah, oh, chocolate, uh, uh, chocolate now. It's now my chocolate. Okay, so those are the jump scares. I'm pretty sure I saw the chocolate guy too. I can't remember what his name is. Something fish. <laughs> Mr. Fish? No. That's not it. Alright, let's go. Let's just go. Are you gonna poof? Probably, right? So these jump scares aren't too startling. In GL. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Mr. Chasey Chase. Because I think he chases you. Because I saw him and I was like, oh fuck. Oh, chocolate bar's not there this time. Okay, so maybe, maybe it is randomized. And I just got lucky. Because, like, when I found it, it was like, find the chocolate bar, like, right as I found it. I, d I don't know how I feel about how they can just peepaw you. Okay, I got the chocolate. I don't want to beat it again, because I don't really care. I gotta find this dude. <gasps> there he is. Wait, was that him? Yes. That's it. 
<laughs> I like how he- I like how he's just cut off. Like his arms are cut off. So that was it. That's the jump scares. That's the ending. Boom. Let's quit. That's it. Let's get out of here. That was the crusty seller. Easy peasy. Boom. Knocked it out. So now we got the creme of the crop. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. I don't know the expression. But what is it? Let me find it. Where is it? Red mist. Red mist. Red mist is the game that we're going to play. We're going to play it on good. We're going to play it on good. We're going to play it and hopefully it doesn't lag out the PC. Warning, this game contains jump scares. Cool. Good. Good. If it starts hitting the PC hard, then I'll whatever. Oh, that's a lot of reading. Okay. On 7th January 2000, Squidward was found dead in his house by his friends, SpongeBob and Patrick. The Bikini Bottom police started the investigation but could not find any evidence of a possible murderer and assumed it was a suicide as the gun was in one of the Squidward's hands. A few days later, SpongeBob and Patrick were reported missing, last seen entering Squidward's house in the middle of the night. As the Bikini Bottom police continued the investigations, a secret cellar door was unveiled in Squidward's house. He plays one of the police officers in the Bikini Bottom police. You have to enter the cellar. Will you unveil the truth? Hint, your stamina is limited. Okay. So. Looks like it's fine. Looks like it's not hitting the PC that hard. Um, also, I want to make sure shadows are on. Because I'm pretty sure shadows are important in this game. I've seen some Let's Plays, all right? I have. I'm not going to lie. And the shadows just make it look so much better. I don't see any shadows, though. So I may have to, like, turn it up. Oh, my God. Pressing escape just brings this up. How do I quit? Do I have to, like, do I have to Windows key and just close it? I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking we do. All right, so let's start it in maximum. Fantastic, I guess. And see what happens. 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 Oh no, it closed it. Or it didn't close it, but it did the thing. Anyway, we chilling. You're playing. Let's go. We read this already. Let's get into the game. Okay, it looks the same. It's running, it's hitting a little harder. We'll see. I'll keep an eye on the FPS. Honestly, I don't, it's not a big deal. It's really not. But now we got some actual red mist up in here, which it makes the game that more genuine. So we good. We got to find the items. Is that one? Oh, does your stamina not go back up? Oh, your stamina doesn't go back up. Okay, so you have very limited stamina. That's good to know. All right. All right. Are these cans items I need to find? Cans? Do I click or do I press E? I should. I guess I should have read the controls. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm so bad. It's funny because I make games, and I'm like, ah, yeah, you should definitely like read the instructions or whatever. Uh, but ooh, it is click. It is indeed click. That's good. I'm just gonna click on everything. How about that? It's so wonky, dude. I like, mean, you turn around, it's like, oh, oh, whoa. So yeah, once you use your stamina, it's gone. What's that? Is that a leg? Oh, it's a leg. It's Spongebob's leg. And it does that weird thing to where it like moves for a second longer. It's got like drift. It moves for a second longer when you let go of the keys. That's really weird. Clicking on the cans, clicking on the cans, because you never know what's going to happen. You never know, you never know, you never know. Oh, oh, oh. Bobba dee ba doop boop, bobba dee ba doop. Two items done. We are pros, dude. We're professionalists. We got all these boxes. Oh, look at that Z fighting. <laughs> oh, and your materials overlap. <laughs> That's great. Oh, man. Dragon Ball Z. The Z fighters. So far, it's not scary. Not gonna lie. Like, I get it. There's ambiance. Oh, there we go. There's a shadow. Look at that. Oh, snap. We got Squidward. Silhouette. Oh, yep. Saw that coming. <gasps> SB129. Isn't that the, uh, that's the time machine. Right? That's the time machine. The time machine episode is called SP129. It's the one where they go and it's like, future. Future. You know. You know, that thing. 
He was. Indeed. He was, indeed. He was. He was. He was. He was. Oh, what's a jump scare? Oh. I'd be lying if I said it didn't get me. It got me. No. He was wrong. Aw, oh, poor sponge. The magic conch. The magic conch knows, dude. So if the magic conch wrote he was wrong on the walls, then you know it's true. He was indeed wrong. You can't turn off the flashlight. What if I want to be stealthy? <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Oh, it's not a thing. Let's be real. It's um in in games. A lot of people think that turning off your flashlight alerts you l less to the enemy. Uh, I think yeah, in my games and in Dave games for sure. I've we've gotten it because we've talked about it. That a lot of people are like, just turn off the flashlight, they won't see you. But dude, it doesn't work. <laughs> it makes no difference because that our AI is not that advanced. Like it does not rely on turning on or off the flashlight to do things. It really doesn't. Nothing on that can. But yeah, if you haven't noticed, I have seen Let's Plays of this, so I kind of know what's going on. Let's be real. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sp uh, Sponge Patrick. Sponge is Patrick. No, I know characters, I promise. <laughs> so, like, I know, like, oh, shit, what? Okay. A noise thingy when I clicked a can. So maybe the cans you have to click in a certain order. I'm thinking that's a thing. Ooh, look at that. Wink. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. It makes me want to go back and check out the other cans. That is a long, dark hallway. Let's not go down there. Oof. That got me. That got me. Oh, snap. Flashlight. Stop. Stop. Ooh. That's brutal. Okay. Okay. Should I pick that up? I'm going to pick that up. More cans. More cans. More cans. More cans. Oh, snap. That did a noise, too. Okay, so I kind of want to go back and check the other cans now. Because we got two little bumpity bumps. Maybe you have to get them in a certain order. So I'm going to go back to the cans earlier on in the map, and I'm going to click all those, too, and see if something else happens. And then I'll go down that long, dark, scary hallway. How about that? Look at this. There's even Z fighting, like, on the ceiling. <laughs> I mean, honestly, dude, we've all been there. We've all we've all had Z fighting, man. It's You, you just got to, like, you got to work on not having it. It's it's just one of those things. Like, it, it's weird. It's like... You see that in games when they have surfaces on top of surfaces, like in the same level and the same space, it can't happen. So it's like it's they're struggling to show you a material, but they want to show you both materials, but you can't see both materials. So you see like flashes and bits of both going through at the same time. And it's like, oof, oof, is that Z fighting? I've also seen it happen with certain materials applied to certain surfaces. So, um. Like at least uh, in in uh, Boofy's Hedge Maze. <sighs> sorry, my nose is like ugh. It's it's. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm nasty. Oh, by the way, I'm in front of the stamina. So here, check it out. Stamina. Bam. I'm doing really good on stamina. Oh, my mic was there too. <laughs> my mic's in the way. But you see that? You see the stamina bar? Are there any cans in here? I'm taking this game real slow. I want to make sure I get the. I'm I'm that guy who who wants to get like the best ending first. Ah, <sighs> so I'm really trying to like. Knock this shit out. It's the true endings first. And then go through and do the thing with the stuff. Alright, this is where I came from. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you be? Do 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 do? So far, there's no enemy, dude. Like, it's 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 chilling. We chilling, dude. There's nothing happening. I'm so used to games where there's a constant threat. And there just isn't. Right now. Oh, shit. There were cans there. I'll get them on the way back. I'm pretty sure these are the first cans I saw right over here, so I'm gonna click these. It looks like the line trace or whatever is super, super long. Oh, that was three. Let's click this one just in case, and we'll click all of them going back. There are no cans this way, and we'll click all of them going back, and I feel like that's okay, because I don't think they would make us go back and forth multiple times, right? Um, I, like I said, I've seen videos. I know you guys are like, oh, there's, God, there's, there's even Z fighting on the bottom of SpongeBob's foot. All right. So at that point, I feel like it's something to do with like modeling or the, the textures. 
maybe when he modeled the stuff, there was like multiple surfaces on one part when he exported it. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I've seen it happen. I was one thing because, you know, uh, Samer, uh, Draft Town dev, because it this actually now looking at it, it looks like it's just straight up the models. Samer is like, he coached me in modeling and it looks like right here you can see that like when he modeled, it looks like there's two faces right there on that one surface. Yes, that is exactly what's going on. There's two faces and they're like struggling to show you the material on the on each face. So it's like, <clears throat> it's, it, you know, were there cans that one? No, 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 no. That was Dead SpongeBob. So anyway, yeah, that is Z Fighting 101. Um, when you model, ooh, saw my mouse on the screen for a second. When you model, <clears throat> just make sure that you don't double up on your faces or edges, something like that. And if you do, make sure that you're able to hide it in the game. Just because it looks more, it looks more professional or whatever. Like I'm, I'm not like shitting on this dude's game. It's so far, it feels good. Like it feels, it feels nice. And I love the charm behind these games, you know. But uh, it's you know, Z fighting. Z fighting. Z fighting. Whether it's implemented in the game engine, or it was the problem was created in uh, Blender. Z fighting is Z fighting. So I have not been chased by shit yet, dude. I'm thinking that there's like a scripted chase or something. But yeah, like I said before, I played the game. I kind of know some little bits and pieces, like hints and stuff. Like I knew there was something to do with the cans, obviously, or I wouldn't be like clicking them like crazy. But I don't know exactly what. And I know SB129 is the time machine <clears throat> because like I know there's something to do with the time machine in this game. But I don't, like, like I said, I don't, I don't know, I don't know deets. I just know um, things. So I'm not completely innocent here. I got all seven items. Looks like I clicked all the cans. They're not doing any more boop bloop bloops. Boop, 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 boop. Yep. I think we're good. I think we're done. Let me make sure there's no cans in this corner over here. Because there very well could be a can hidden in the corner in this cheeky little spot. Mm, nope. Nope, nope, nope. My sinuses are something else right now. So anyway, uh, this is... I, I don't want to sprint. I'm afraid to sprint in case I have to at some point. Because that, that stamina went down quick. Like right now, it's at like 73... 78%. No, 78%. <sighs> All right, so if I hear a noise, I am gone, dude. This is the long, dark hallway. Here we go. Shit, dude. Moment of truth. What does that say? Truth is near. Oh, shit. Yeah, shit's about to go down. Shit is about to go down. Oh my god. What? A little jump, jump, jump scare. That was cool though. I like that model. This way. No, we running this way. We just running. Oh, that stamina does not go down fast. Run, 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 run. Don't want to die. Okay, I did it, I did it, I did it. <gasps> I made it. I didn't even see what the monster was. Don't worry, we'll get killed by the monster here uh, at some point because I'm pretty sure there's like four endings. This is ending number one, I think. Yes, I think we did it. Is that the time machine? That's the time machine. That's SB129. Ah, good ending first, Mr. Krabs. Did it? Oh, shit. Well, that's it. SB129 time machines. Please stand by. All right, when you entered SB129, it's SB129 ending. When you enter SB129, you were teleported on the day of Squidward's assassination. You caught Mr. Krabs in the act when he tried to shoot Squidward. You overpowered and arrested Mr. Krabs. He was sentenced to prison for attempted murder for 25 years to be continued. Cool. So I think that was the good ending. We're going to play again. Nice. We got the good ending first. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So we're going to play again. <gasps> Ooh, are they random spawns? Because these cans, unless they were there the whole time. Man, I'm glad none of those cans were key i'm just gonna run through it now i'm not gonna collect any items actually i'll collect all the items why not may as well <laughs> collect all the items run to the exit and see what happens without hitting the cans i want to see if the cans made a difference or see if i got all the cans because maybe i didn't and maybe that was just a standard ending <sighs> who knows 
Dang, that was cool. It's always a rush when you get these endings, dude. Like that last chase sequence, I really didn't want to lose that because it, it took me so long. I think it took, like, it took me like 10 minutes just to get through that one ending. So like, yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over here, I think the squid, squillium, the squillium, wow. Uh, the bold and brash painting, yeah. Bold and brash. <laughs> Good times. Good times, mate. <laughs> Clarinet. You know what's funny is I, I've never played any wind instruments, but I know people who have, and I, I just can't fathom. Like, I don't know. It's weird. Like, different instrument classes or whatever they're called families i don't know i don't even know what they're technically called they're so different like i play guitar and the thing about that is like you play one instrument in the string family and you can pretty much play any of them like they're all they all have the same like rule of thumb to them and it's like you you hit buttons and or you hit buttons you hold down on the frets and all that stuff and then you hit the string and then it's like yeah sound you kind of like how you, you tie the string together and when you like make it more or less tight then it, it makes a higher or lower pitch sound but wind and stuff like that is like I, I, I don't know I don't know if it's the same is it the same like is it is it theoretically like the same like I I don't know I'd have to look into it I've never played like wind instruments outside of using like a recorder and like elementary school or whatever yeah i don't know just throwing it out there like i didn't just talking about talking shit you know what i mean we out here talk about instruments <laughs> oh man you guys playing instruments like i said i played guitar for like seven years and it was uh i don't know like i got to the point in guitar where i was really into like classic rock and stuff and I tried to learn like doing like sweeps, arpeggios and stuff like that. And uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. And I think uh, I've saw, I've seen uh, DX Army, you know, Papa D. We've done some collabs in the past, you know him. I've, I've seen him do, yeah, that, that's the first can. <laughs> I think you do have to get him in order because the, the ones in the beginning of the map, it wouldn't let me get before. Anyway, uh, I've seen Papa D do uh, stuff. Uh, do sweeps and arpeggios and stuff like that on his guitar and that's so cool to me because I could not nail them I just couldn't I've always had pretty good like hand-eye coordination, but it's like oh, oh, It's so scary, uh, but like with guitar and stuff like that. It's like you just got to nail it No pun intended like I did not say <laughs> just guess we're going by Nail time So anyway, um, yeah music is great I, I, I think I think I have a pretty good ear for like tones and tunes and music and stuff. But there's some people out there who are just so fucking just skilled. It's very, very skilled. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, DX has played some guitar. I've seen. Um, who else have I seen do stuff? Uh, man, it's just it's, it's awesome. Like other YouTubers. Uh, not even music, not even just music, but like just everything in general that other people do that you wouldn't know until, oh my God, until you actually like get into watching them and stuff. So like, uh, DX army, he plays instruments and apparently he welds. I don't know if you guys have seen his recent video about making a, um, a sculpture of siren head, but that's fucking awesome. All right, so this is the ending. We didn't touch. We only touched one can, which is kind of a mistake. I guess I shouldn't have done that. So now we know for sure if we get the same ending, then it's because we only touched one can. Ah, it's different. Okay, okay, okay. So we must have gotten the good. Ooh, what is that? That's so loud. 5CWFTDIZ9ZY. I gotta write this down. I don't know what that means. Give me a sticky note. Just bear, bear with me with the, the loud noises for a second. 5 C W F T D I Z 9 Z Y. Cool. We did it. We did the thing. All right, let's go. Ooh. See, I love that sound because that's that same sound, a corrupted ending. 
Truth is near, truth is near. SB129, 5CW. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think that's like a YouTube video. Hold up. Let me see. Let's click on this random YouTube video. Markiplier, of course, is the first thing that popped up. Uh, let's change this to 5CW, FT, D, I, Z, 9, Z, Y. Oh yeah, it just shows the three cans that I grabbed. So it's just leading to the um the true ending then. Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. All right, nice. So we got an oh, it just shuts the game off. Cool. That's cool too, I guess. All right, so let's get the other two endings. So I'm thinking you get through without getting any items. Or without getting all the items. And then you get through or you don't get through, you just get caught. So I'm thinking those are the last two endings. So we're gonna grab those real quick. This game is taking a long time. It's because it's such a long run. Actually, I'm just going to sprint. I'm just going to go right to the ending and die. Let's do that. Let's just sprint, y'all. That's funny. I sprinted all the way through these halls at the very beginning and used so much stamina. You might be able to just sprint straight through the whole game. I want to see if you can. It'd be the fastest way to get this get caught ending. So we don't have to collect any items anymore. We can just run straight through. Either way. We good. Um, and I'm pretty sure running, you may be able to run the whole way and still survive. Yeah, we know SB129, blah, blah, blah. We know the story already. So we, we're just getting the extras now at this point. Damn, dude, you can sprint for so long, but it doesn't come back. It's kind of like the flashlight in Boofy's bunker. Oh, man. Good times. This is not a bad game. See, I am all for games with uh, multiple endings. So this really hits home for me. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough stamina to get away. So I'm probably just going to have to die. The good news is we're seeing the jump scare. So that's cool. I'm just going to run straight into the man. Okay, yeah, we get it. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's just... <laughs> Death ending. After you have not returned from the basement, the Bikini Bottom police decided to send a special force of police officers to the basement. They found the bodies of SpongeBob, Patrick, and you in a devastating condition. An investigation was started to explain the deaths, but no clues were found to what really happened. The case was closed a few months later, and the deaths remain a mystery to this day. Very cool. So now we just have to escape without getting any items. I could do that. So we know we can outrun him if we sprint through to the end of this hallway. Right. So I'm going to do some sprinting here. I just don't want to risk it because I don't want to have to do this all over again. So I think I'm just going to sprint out into this open area. Sprint around here. Save as much time as possible while still having enough stamina to survive. Got to get around here. Get through these bookses. And here we go. All right, cool. So now we just walk the rest of the way. Um, go past this part. I love the silhouette thing. That is so cool. That is so cool. The silhouette thing is awesome. Shadows on the walls. All that good stuff. It's really cool effects that um, I actually, it, believe it or not, I, 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 I used that kind of thing in uh, DPT at one point. I, there's a lot of things in DPT but, that I don't think, uh, that I think a lot of people didn't notice. Like um, there's one where um, Lil Sweet, the chick, <laughs> the dude that like randomly pops up behind you, or <laughs> the dude that randomly pops up in, in the map and stuff, like he jump scares you and all sorts of shit, uh, he can spawn behind the player at any point in the game to where if you stand in a, behind like uh, under like a certain light, you can actually see his shadow in front of you and he's like right behind the player. All right, we're here. We're at the long hallway. Pretty sweet. So... That's a cool thing that I added. Um, <clears throat> uh, tripophobia is definitely a theme in that game, and I feel like it doesn't hit home with a lot of people. So I'm thinking in a future update, I might add like other phobias into the game, like spiders and eyes and stuff like that, like little weird phobias. And I might just make, I might just make like different playthroughs based on different phobias. I don't know yet. I I don't know. I know I'm adding like replayability and stuff 
for sure. All right, so we can just sprint to the end. Don't have any items. We should still be able to leave, right? Like, we're not just blocked off. There's the exit. Ending number four, come on. Yep, escape ending. You managed to escape the basement in the last second. You were contacted. You contacted the police station and told them what you had witnessed in the basement. A special police force was sent to Squidward's house. They searched for bodies, for the bodies of Special Bomb Patrick, but they could not find anything. And that's it. That's it. That's all four endings of Red Mist. Yes! So we played Red Mist, got all the endings. We played Sponger, got the ending. And we played... What's it called? Uh, the fucking other one, the Krusty Cellar. And we got the... Uh, oh, my face is gone. And we got the... Uh, the, all the jump scares in the only ending so that was cool that was cool nice little chill uh video uh had fun my headache is gone thank god um i do plan on streaming later today uh i don't hold me to it though i may or may not i'm about to eat lunch um hang out i'm, I'm making a website too for like uh, uh for freelancing for um for game dev for art for ev for everything i do for streaming for youtubing all that shit is just going on the website. So um, stay tuned for that, I guess. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, follow me on Twitch and uh, Patreon if you can. Free games coming out soon on Patreon. Very, very soon. I, I just need to patch this little quick, friendly update to DPT. The big overhaul isn't coming till later, unfortunately. So I'm going to patch DPT, and then I'm, I'm just going to unleash hell and just start working on these Patreon games. Uh, also going to be working on Boofy's Monker 2.0. Also going to be working on the Invader Zim game and the unknown to you guys that I, I'm pretty sure I know what it's going to be. The third parody game. So, because you guys know we hit that bundle goal of $100, so I have to make three parody games. Um, I've, I've already made DPT, Dr. Pepper Terror, and I, I still got to make the two more. One's going to be Invader Zim, the other one's unknown, blah, blah, blah. I think I got everything. Um, Patron, Twitch, follow me on Twitter too for constant updates. I'm very active on Twitter. And if you want to get a hold of me, Twitter is the best way. I'm not guaranteed to answer, but I will. Maybe. Possibly. I might. I don't know. Depends if I feel like it or not. Sorry. Kind of stuck up. I'm an asshole. So anyway, um, follow me on my site. Support me. I'm unemployed because we're quarantined. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, bye, guys. Thanks. Thanks for making it this far. But yeah, bye. Bye. See you guys in the stream. Maybe if I do stream. I should. YouTube or Twitch. Just follow me. Seriously, though. Bye.